Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a new foundation, surprise, surprise, to try out for you guys today. And it comes to us from Laura Geller. This is her double take liquid foundation. Unfortunately, this foundation only comes in eight different shades. I'll put a picture of the shade range right here. And it does retail for $36. I bought mine directly from the Laura Geller website, but you can find it already on the QVC website. And I think if you buy it from the QVC website, website they include a foundation brush I decided to go to her website to purchase it there because they're having like a promotion right now for like 30% off with a certain code so just was cheaper to buy it off of her website now this foundation is going to give us medium coverage and it says it's going to be a natural matte finish I decided to pick up the second to lightest shade the shade I have is fair um, also this foundation says that it's going to pair perfectly with the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. That's kind of like... I don't feel like that's a full on powder foundation. It's a beautiful um, like finishing powder and I have that. So I think I'm going to be trying that on day two. Uh, I also have a couple other products from Laura Geller in my stash. I have a bronzer, I have a blush. So you guys will be seeing me use some of those products in today's video. Um, this foundation, the applicator on it is a large doe foot applicator. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try this out. This says that it's not going to crease. It's going to be transfer proof. It's not going to cake up. We'll see. I am 40 years old and I have normal to oily skin. And the way I do my foundation reviews here on my channel is I do them for two days. On day one, I wear it without any helping products, meaning no powder, no primer, no setting spray, just so we can see how the foundation does on its own. And then on day two is when I pair it, you know, with everything that I normally would uh, wear it the way I normally would any foundation. And in case it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to everybody. My name is Steph. And this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see new makeup reviews. That is the primary content here on my channel. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, which, by the way, I'm getting ready to film with the new Nomad Cosmetics palette. Ooh, you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for that video. That video should be up right after this one goes up. I do makeup ranking videos here on my channel. We just talk about makeup. We talk about makeup a lot. We have a great time while talking about the makeup. If that sounds like somewhere you want to be or something you want to see on pretty much a daily basis do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you're a fan of Laura Geller or you're just looking for a new foundation maybe you saw this on QVC and you're wondering what it's all about give this video a thumbs up before you go I will have everything that I'm using in today's video linked and listed in the description box and some of those things might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get this two-day, 10-hour wear test foundation review started. If you guys want to see this new double-take liquid foundation from Laura Geller in action, keep on watching. I am so excited to be trying this foundation. Let's give it a good shake. So day one, I'm not wearing this foundation with any helping products. All I'm going to wear it with is I do have, and here's the shade, I do have um, a Laura Geller uh, blush and bronzer right here, so I'll apply this off camera. But that's about that's about it. So no powder, no setting spray, nothing like that. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna start with half of my face. You see that we get this really large doe foot applicator. Now I'm gonna go in with my BK 101. The shade looks pretty good. It might be a, a tad bit on the darker side, but not, not by much. So we're supposed to get medium to full coverage with a natural matte finish. Okay, so here is what one side looks like with the foundation and then no foundation. It looks nice. Looks pretty good. Uh, I do see a couple areas that, of course, I want to build up, especially like right in here. That's where I have old acne scars, minor discoloration. Now we're going to give it a shot with the damp beauty sponge. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can totally see a difference in coverage from the sponge to the brush side. So if you're wanting to get that more blurred out or sheared out coverage, then you're definitely going to want to use the sponge. And if you want, you know, the full coverage, the maximum coverage, definitely use a brush. What I have been doing lately is going in with a brush all over and then using my sponge at the end just to pick up whatever excess I have on the back of my hand or if I want to add a little bit more in certain areas. Um, that's what I've been doing after I've gone in with the brush. So right now I'm just going to work to kind of build up coverage a little bit. Now I'm just going to press and make sure everything is as seamless as possible. This feels very lightweight and I don't have, there's no scent that I'm smelling, nothing. I like it. I like the coverage that I'm getting. I feel like I have a, a medium coverage going on right now. It looks nice. It's not just sitting on top of the skin. It's, you know, melting into the skin. Now I am going to do a little bit of Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. I have the shade 30NN in this one. And I'm just going to do this under the eye area. Let me know if you've picked this one up. What are your thoughts? How have you been liking it? I'm going to use my AOA Studio uh, E104. You can definitely use the Quickie Concealer as foundation. Most definitely. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder just to set the under eye area. Okay, so here is how the complexion is looking. I think everything is looking good. I think the uh, the concealer meshed well with the foundation. Tomorrow I'll probably use concealer to kind of build up on the sides of my cheeks, but not today. I just want to see how the foundation is going to wear on my 40-year-old normal to oily skin. I have high expectations for this one. Laura Geller usually turns out pretty good products, so I'm, I'm really excited for it. I feel like I have a nice candlelit glow, and I love it. I'll be back during my lunch break, and we'll see how the new Laura Geller official name is the Double Take Liquid Foundation is holding up. Hey guys, five hour check in here. This is what the complexion is looking like. I think it looks nice. Um, I may be a little bit shiny on my nose already, but hey, I don't have any powder on this face just for a little powder bronzer and blush, but it feels comfortable. It feels lightweight. I don't really see it settling anywhere. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I know tomorrow is going to be better. The second day always is with the helping products. But as of right now, five hours in, not too bad. All right, guys, 10 hour check in here on this day one with the new Laura Geller foundation. I am shiny. I am definitely shiny on my forehead, on my nose. It is starting to already break up because all that oil is starting to come through. I feel like I'm missing a little bit on my chin. But um, you know what I was thinking throughout the day? I feel like this kind of looks and kind of feels really similar to that new foundation from Revlon, the Illuminance Foundation. Um, that is a really good foundation. And that one looked better on day one without any helping products than this one does. So just keep that in mind as we're going through uh, this wear test. But I like the coverage. I I like the finish of it. I just think tomorrow, and it always works out this way, it's always day two with the helping products that's the best day. And I think this is going to be really good tomorrow. But um, I'll do my check-in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know what products I went in with. And hopefully, we're going to get a better result tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hey guys, good morning. We're about an hour in on this day two wear test. I want to quickly tell you some of the products that I went in with. Uh, I'm using the new e.l.f. Power Grip Primer that has niacinamide. I think the primer, the foundation paired perfectly with one another. It even gave a little bit of an added glow. For concealer, I'm still trying out the Keep Me Covered Concealer from Essence. And I'm also using my new Milani setting powder. I do have a little bit of the bronzer and blush I wore yesterday which are both from Laura Geller 
And that's about it. I didn't do any setting spray. I didn't do any setting spray, I totally forgot. So um, unless I have a setting spray here at work, I don't know, but if I do, I'll spray. If not, that's okay. I feel like the complexion is really locked in. I think this foundation is gonna do so much better today. I think it looks great with all of the products that I paired with it. And um, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking the way it looks. I'll be back in about four more hours during my lunch break and we'll see what the midday check-in looks like. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a uh, five hour check-in here and this is what the complexion is looking like. I'm out here in my car so that way you can kind of see what it looks like a little bit in the, well, the overcast day. But I think it's wearing really well. I'm liking it much better today than I did yesterday. I'm not shiny, I'm not oily. Everything just looks really nice and smooth and I have a beautiful glow to my complexion. This is a really lightweight foundation. I don't see it settling much anywhere you know i think it just looks smooth it looks nice and i i for me think this is a true medium coverage so i'll be back once i get home from work we'll see now we'll see then at the 10 hour check-in uh just exactly how well this foundation has held up and i'll give you guys my final thoughts on this new one from laura laura geller all right guys we've come to the end of this two-day 10 hour wear test trying out the new double take liquid foundation from laura geller here's what my complexion is looking Looking like um I think it did a much better job today but I will say like on my nose and around my mouth and on my chin it's starting to you know break apart it looks makeup-y but like right here on the sides of my cheeks the forehead still looks great I'm not as shiny as I was this time yesterday so that's really good but I'm gonna take back what I said about this foundation reminding me of the new one from Revlon no I take that back I, I was kind of thinking that yesterday but that was just because I didn't have any powder on but I I actually I like that foundation more than I like this particular foundation um I think it did just a much better job today but unfortunately the eight shades that this comes in I don't know I don't know what brands are thinking only doing eight shades I can understand if it's like a skin tint but this is a full-on medium coverage foundation a buildable foundation at that um so I don't know I definitely think the shade range needs a lot of work um other than that you know i'm more pleased today than i was yesterday i would guess i guess just give this one one thumbs up i have other foundations that i've tried more recently that have just wowed me more and done done a much better job on my 40 year old normal to oily skin i do like that this is lightweight and i don't mind that it has that large doe foot applicator makes it really quick and easy to apply and i think the shade that i have is actually a pretty good shade match for me i'll continue to wear it um i like that i'm adding a few more laura geller products but like i just said shade range definitely needs some work um as far as who do i think this foundation is going to be best for I, I think it's going to be a good one for all skin types, honestly, you, you know, um, I think if you're full on oily, you can just powder down, go in with your favorite matte primer. I think this is going to work for you. And if you're on full on dry skin, I think all you need is a good, you know, hydrating primer underneath and you'll be good to go. Um, I don't see that it like clings to texture or accentuates texture. It's just, you know, it's 10 hours. It's been 10 hours. It's starting to look like it's been on for 10 hours and I don't do any touch-ups when I do these foundation reviews so you know maybe if I had touched up it look a little bit better but you know it's not terrible it's not terrible but I think I've definitely tried better foundations in more recent days let me know your thoughts now guys what do you think of Laura Geller do you guys use this makeup brand what is your favorite thing maybe you've never heard of Laura Geller before I know the brand because of QVC let me know your thoughts sound off in the comments down below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.